I call it a life-changing experience. Like, it's something you will never forget. And of course, Ontario is not known for its fabulous auroras. Usually you have to go a bit north for that. Get ready to see more northern lights closer to home. Just a few days back, Ontario was treated to another stunning aurora borealis, even visible near the GTA, away from light pollution, with reports of sightings across the province, even in Waterloo. Your chances for aurora watching are going to get better and better. Elena Hyde is an assistant professor at York U, specializing in galactic astrology. She's also a member of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. She says Ontario is being treated to more aurora activity because right now we're entering something called solar cycle 25. Which means that the sun's activity is increasing. We're getting more, um, more sunspots, more magnetic field activity, and this happens every 11 years. And the more of those energized particles make their way to Earth and interact with our magnetic field, the better the show. And of course, the more energetic particles you have, the farther south uh, from the pole, the light show goes. Hours in the middle of the night, in the darkness, in the snow, in the middle of the woods, um, hoping that you might see something on a camera, um, and then hoping you might be able to see it eventually with your eyes. Meanwhile, Matt Dwyer is an Aurora chaser. He and his wife moved from Etobicoke a few years back and now own Red Bay Lodge on the Bruce Peninsula. He's been able to catch the lights 12 times this year, captured in this video and has even started incorporating Aurora excursions into his off-season business model. He says if you're in the city and want to see them, you may want to get at least as far away as here, Shelburne, Ontario, about a 25-minute drive north from Orangeville. It's really a matter of, um, of the conditions being right, the weather being right. You don't have to actually go to those extreme northern locations. The, the primary uh, things that you need to, to see the northern lights um, is darkness and solar activity. What is it about the aurora that um, pull, pulls at you just a little bit more than other beautiful scenic things? It's challenging. <laughs> that's, the, that's the main thing. But there is one other more serious question. Is this the kind of activity that could damage technology or infrastructure? Yeah, so it's the same idea, but bigger. Hyde says last year a solar storm knocked some SpaceX satellites out of orbit. Or you may remember the Quebec power outage of 89 caused by a solar storm. And that's actually something that people think about is how do we how do we protect ourselves? She says power systems have received some improvements since 1989, and we do have some methods for mitigating damage to satellites and GPS. As for the light show, we can expect the best of it to last at least a year. In Shelburne, David Zura, City News.